Hey everyone, Jonathan here from Depth Esports. February sure was a fun and exciting month for us, so I'm here to go over some things that happened. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Starting with some of the general stuff that happened to us this month. To start off the month, we did one of the biggest changes to the organization ever. We announced our official rebrand on February 1st. We love the old logo, but it was time for change as we transitioned into a more professional organization. Our new logo still keeps the same ideas as the old one while also staying modern. Um, we also updated our brand colors. Our primary color has now transitioned, transitioned into a way brighter, uh, high saturated aqua color. And the second one, second color is like a toned down version of that. Um, you can check out the video we did on our rebrand link in the description below. And I think a pop up will be popping around somewhere right now. Um, but yeah, along with the rebrand, we had some major milestones on our Twitter page. Uh, just this month alone, we were able to hit 1.1 thousand followers and 1.2 thousand followers on our Twitter page. Absolutely huge stuff there. Uh, I believe, you know, this is shaping up to be one of our most successful months ever. Um, it's really hard to argue against that. We did so much. Uh, and just to kind of round it off, we welcomed a new streamer to the depth and Will Mill. Joining us as another Smash streamer, another Smash Alabama streamer, so he, sh he gets along with like Jesse Doxa and the whole crew there. Moving to Valorant, we announced our new Valorant team of Wokes, Chippo, Jack, Grim, Milk, Fiji, and Sane. And boy, have the guys made some big waves under the Death Banner so far. They made their Death, de death debut in the AV AVGL Code Red Qualifiers. We qualified for the big $10,000 event after an intense final. Following that, they competed in the Val Valorant AM Qualifier. We managed to grab a second place finish, but we were still able to qualify for the tournament. Then came time for the big 10,000 Code Red tournament, which is the one we qualified for that I just mentioned. This tournament was especially a big deal because it was filled with some huge names in esports and streaming, including Slasher, Classify, Nothing, and Zombs, plus many more. Um, just to give you a good idea of how big this tournament actually was. Uh, and above all that, with the massive prize pool and the huge names in this tournament, we were still able to nab a first place finish at this event. We took down Slasher's team 2 to nothing, and the team secured themselves $6,000. So, massive stuff coming from Valorant in just the first few weeks that we've welcomed them onto the organization. In Rocket League, the boys continued their run in the Indie Gaming League Winter Circuit, being the back-to-back -back defending champs. As always, we had high expectations for this season as well. The main season didn't really go as planned though, but we were able to still clinch a playoff spot. Heading into playoffs, we were able to grab a big victory, 3-1 versus Parabellum Esports. It was a big upset there. They were the higher seed. I believe that one of, they were like third seed or something. We were like the 14th seed coming in, but we proved that we belong here and proved that we are the defending back-to-back-to-back -back 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 champions. Um, so we took down Parabellum 3-1, to one, and then we moved on to the quarterfinals to face NKU Esports. Unfortunately, that result didn't really go as planned, though, and we fell 3-1 to one to them, which eliminated us from playoffs. So a uh, bit of a short run here in the IGL Winter Series, but don't worry, we'll be back and be better than ever come next circuit. In iRacing, our drivers Brad and Trevor have had a grand start to their 2021, 2021 season so far, grabbing multiple top 5 placements in several races. And with our new logo, the guys also had some new paint finishes made for their cars. And I'll tell you what, some of those paint finishes are top tier. I would definitely recommend you check out some of their streams so you can check out those amazing new paint finishes. Uh, we also created the Depth Racing Twitter account, so if you're interested in more racing content from us and make sure you want to check out that twitter page link will be in the description below the start of this year has honestly been fantastic so far for depth and we can't thank you enough for all of your support we have more great things great things planned for this year and you don't want to miss if you enjoyed this video then consider subscribing and smacking a like check out our sponsors over at freshonbydrushing.com and use code depth for 20 percent off hope you enjoyed this video catch you later